Hello survivors and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be taking a first look at Julie who is the second character to be released within the Survivors Club. The Survivors Club is obviously the premium subscription within Road to Survival. I think it costs 25 to 30 dollars a month or 20 to 25 pounds and it's quite expensive but one of the big pulls within that subscription is the characters and the first character to be released was andrea and pretty much recently a lot of people have been hitting her to tier four which is you know the max tier within the six stars and then those comics which you're going to be gaining from the roadmaps that you have exclusive access to via survivors club are effectively useless so a lot of question marks are being raised in terms of what's the next character going to be is there going to be another character and there is and it's julie the first character to be released was obviously a very desired kind of character in terms of she was a shield and this second character is pretty much the same sort of situation she is a decapitate so obviously a very desired specialist uh, we'll look at the five star first in terms of her visuals and she's pretty low-key she's just got a you know a turtleneck jumper on and that's it but when she gets i wonder if she's gonna get a jacket or a hat she gets a jacket <laughs> obviously um so she gets upgraded to six star she gets an attached weapon and she gets a jacket a bag and she obviously gets a bit more buffed out uh, we'll look at her stats 1938 attack 1669 defense 1776 hp so pretty balanced stats as a generation two six star her trait is tough and her role is support so so far so good in terms of how it looks however it goes a little bit strange when we look at her rush it's called disorienting barrage it is 76 ap deal two attacks of 250 percent damage 500 percent total to one enemy up to two enemies get confused for three turns and a hundred percent heal reduction for two turns so she's obviously got a very strong rush in terms of the amount of damage output she can do she can do 500 percent damage she could effectively kill two characters with that rush obviously low hp characters are going to be taken out quite easily if she attacks one character that's and kills them the second attack will go to a second character that's the upside of that rush the downside of it is of course if that character has stun on defense or you know impair on defense or absolute defense she can get stunned she can get impaired she can get absolute defended she, if she does get impaired, it doesn't stop the rush halfway through, but it will impair her, you know, for the future. Basically, she won't gain AP on future turns. Now, the second part of that rush, you know, that's a lot of crowd control. Three turn confused to two enemies is very powerful. I believe that's one of the most powerful confuses in the game. And 100% heal reduction as well. So if she doesn't kill these characters, she's going to at least do heal reduction on them. And those are extra characters as well. So let's say she kills one character two extra characters will get confused and heal reduction as well it, well it should work exactly the way shiva's rush does in terms of if you kill a character with shiva's rush two extra characters get confused and obviously heal reduction so she'll decapitate the first character and then effectively do like a partial decapitate for two turns on the second two characters that other people are within your attack team can just pile in on and take down and they won't get revived they can't get healed back up if it's an erica a very defensive erica even though your tough team should be able to destroy her if she if you don't and she rushes there's no risk of her reviving the character that julie initially killed and there's no risk of her healing herself which is massive which is massive because that bonus hp is always very annoying we'll now look at her active skill and it is maim and ap gain it has an initial cooldown of three turns and it's deal 600 oh, no it's not 600 percent it's just deal 600 maim damage to one enemy this character gains 35 percent ap so she isn't gaining as much as she would if she did a basic attack she'd obviously have to gain 50 percent ap for that on an attack team on a defense team it would be much worse now that 600 main damage on paper sounds really good but i believe that it was on the morgan the follow-up morgan and it has been bugged since his release so i'm not sure it's been if it's been fixed on that character or not it basically just doesn't work from what i understand on morgan it just doesn't actually main people so you effectively you lose your turn so it's hard to know if that active skill would even work at this point going across to the specialist skill obviously it's a premium specialist skill decapitate this is basically a specialist skill everyone in the game wants no matter what level you're at decapitate is always useful just because 
revives are always going to be an issue decapitating someone is a permanent down there's no downside to killing someone with a decapitate character pretty much they can't be revived it, it can't be cleansed nothing can happen to someone who's decapitated currently at least when this character lands the killing blow on an enemy that enemy cannot be revived and obviously like i said because her rush deals two separate attacks she could potentially kill two people now her damage output isn't going to be huge just based on the fact that her base damage is not that great it's only 1938 however obviously you can buff that with mods you can buff that with weapons you can buff that with leader bonus she has however got a fairly good base weapon for this you'd obviously have to change it to attack in my opinion if you wanted to get the best out of her offensively and obviously ap on attack as well so you'd want to probably go for huge bonus and get that to 35 percent attack and keep that tier 3 special that when attacking a better chance to make a second attack for 200 percent attack is stronger than the armory one which is 150 percent attack and that works with her rush you know if you've if you've ever used dwight you know the sort of damage output that you can have if you've got the right combat mods you can have like crit set and do lots of crit damage and you can just destroy someone you can hit someone with just one of the double attacks for like five to six thousand without any problem just the amount of damage output that you can get with the double attacks and crits because those double attacks can crit based on that rush it's going to be insane the amount of damage output she could have it could have been obviously a lot better if she was geared more towards attack but it isn't necessarily a terrible thing because i've always found that my best damage dealers kind of need to be made tanky within combat mods and if you're a character that can utilize crits it's always good to have combat mods that have critical and you don't want to use defense mods within your combat mods she could use an attack mod in one of the mod slots and a crit mod in the, in the wild card slot whereas for instance on my tyrese his defense is so low that i actually have to have a defensive mod on him just so that he actually can stay alive because he can get destroyed if there's ever like it even someone who's basic as i don't know a guardian 2 zeke will just really hurt him Whereas that's not going to ever be a problem for Julie because her base defense is actually pretty high. Nearly 1700 is actually really good for a damage dealer. So it, you you gain some, you, you lose out somewhere else. I think she's still going to destroy whatever character she attacks. She should kill somebody with that rush just because the 500% damage, her weapon can double attack. If it do does double attack, the amount of damage output is going to be insane. So obviously she is a great character. She is going to take a long time to get to the level where she's going to be usable it takes 114 comics to max out a survivors club character to tier 4 as a six star and the initial claim for julie is 25 comics in the museum so as you can see the initial claim of julie is 25 comics in the museum you don't need to be part of the survivors club to actually do this so if you do have those 25 comics still left over you could effectively claim her and just have her as a tier 1 five star i think you are going to receive six comics if you've been part of the survivors club for one month 12 if you've been a part of the survivors club for two months and 18 if you've been part of the survivors club for three months so if you were someone who got andrea you're going to get an 18 comic sort of like bonus in your office section just go check that out and if you're someone who isn't new and you thought about you know signing up to survivors club you're going to over a period of time get some extra comics so you're going to get those bonus comics it will probably take you know four to six months to really max this character out but because she's generation two and generation two characters have only really just come out she probably would be worth going in for if you're just sort of deliberating whether it's a worthwhile character she is a decapitate of course she is much better than her other basically tough equivalent which is tyrese her damage output is going to be greater even though his percentage damage is higher his rush is slower she can actually do double attacks on her rush she's got better survivability all around she's just a better character and i think she's going to be a definite upgrade on an attack team she could even potentially be used on certain defense teams just based on the fact that her stats are actually pretty decent for instance i have started using a more of a damage dealer within my defense team behind an eric just as that sort of wild card and i basically use tara because she has the um on a roll so she can give herself attack buffs and i can make her quite defensive with julie however it's going to be different you're going to be relying just on the pure damage of her rush you can still make her quite defensive but hopefully she can maybe decapitate someone i don't think many people do run with revives on attack but yeah that's julie i think she's a good character like i said is she worth going on a survivors club for 
purely alone, no. You should take Survivor's Club pretty much as a whole. You're going to be getting pulls. You're going to be getting some bonuses. They have upgraded the roster slots from 100 to 500. Um, but I think Survivor's Club as a whole is always going to be quite expensive just based on the fact that you are always going to be part of the payment within Survivor's Club is for things that perhaps you do not need. And I think they've just spread themselves too thinly over too many things to make it really worthwhile. It'd be better, if anything, that they removed some of the bonuses and just reduced the price to lure in more people. But that's my opinion. Um, but this is Julie. Do tell me what you think about Julie. Is it going to be something that makes you want to go for Survivor's Club or not? But that's the end of my video, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. And as always, keep on surviving, guys. Keep on surviving.